For many students at St. Thomas University, parking is a hot topic. Crowded parking lots and having to pay for tickets is making faculty, staff, and students frustrated. In 2004, the Student Union held a referendum to determine the price of a universal bus pass. Since then, all full-time students have a $70 bus pass added on to their student fees. Michelle Viano thinks students should be able to opt out of the bus pass. I think it should be an option to opt out of the bus pass if you're really not going to use it. I mean, I understand a lot of students do use it and it is really useful, but for the students that don't use it, we should have the option to have it taken off of our tuition. Lindsay Edney's car was towed from one of the St. Thomas parking lots after only two $10 tickets. She was forced to pay $150 to get her car out of impound. She says students should be given more options. I'd definitely rather have the option of having either a $60 bus pass or a $75 parking pass. So I think we should have the option instead of being mandatory. Students come here to the registrar's office to activate their bus pass or to buy a parking pass. Parking passes come in three denominations, general parking, residence parking, or faculty and staff. Whether students activate their cards or not, Reg Gallant says fees are here to stay. St. Thomas controller Reg Gallant says that more students should be using their bus passes since they're already paying the fee. You, from the university's perspective, we probably would be happier if more students used the bus. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a more environmentally friendly approach. It's, it helps with congestion on campus because we have no areas to grow parking here. So, you know, we have the parking lots we have plus behind the uh, Aiken Center for use. Winter's here, and most students just want to get out of the cold. But the question is, will they climb into a car? Or will they wait for the next bus? For Stu Journalism, I'm Melissa Rustler.